Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video I'd like to discuss about something really important. So, asthma and smoking. Why is smoking so bad in patients who have asthma? And I'd like to turn your attention to this schematic. So, airways that branch out. This is basically what's going on in the lungs. Now, if you reach the edge, basically, of the lung, as these airways become smaller and smaller and smaller, they are called bronchioles. Now, the bronchioles, that's where asthma happens. That's where there's inflammation. So inflammation is an irritation. So these airways are irritated. Think about them as being red, okay? So those airways which are irritated, they tend to spasm a lot. They tend to be triggered by allergens, by exposures to noxious fumes, to things in the environment that we breathe in and they irritate something that's already inflamed. So if you already have inflammation in the lungs, and that causes asthma, if you inhale an irritant, such as cigarette smoke, that will of course cause more inflammation to occur. It will keep that inflammation there. And no amount of medication that you take through inhalers, so for example, you, you take your inhaler very correctly, and that controls the inflammation. But if you're also smoking at the same time, that counteracts the effect of the inhaler and you're not really getting the benefit that you want. So it's really, really important in asthma to try to quit smoking because that will help you get better control of your asthma. You will feel much, much better. And if you need help to quit smoking, because many people do, please don't hesitate to contact your doctor. Discuss with them. What can I do? There are treatments for quitting smoking. You don't have to struggle and try to quit many, many times without the appropriate help because there is help out there. And in all the countries in the world, there probably is someone who can help you to quit smoking, even with treatment if you need to. As there are medications, for example, that can control the craving. There is sometimes counseling that can help. There are a lot of things you can do because smoking is not an easy thing to give up. It's an addiction. It's something that your body's used to. It's hard to just suddenly quit smoking. But if you do, it's very likely that your asthma will improve dramatically. So if you can, do try to quit smoking if you're suffering with asthma. It will make a world of difference. All the best to you and good health.